Okay, tubers, I've uh, been wrenching on this 94 Dodge. Uh, just so you all know, the first thing you want to do is pull your battery terminals off, which uh, the battery ends are just junk. Yeah, making them put new ones on it. Uh, then I always take the drive shafts out first thing. And uh, right now I'm in the process of taking the uh, transfer shift shifter out and I've been getting all them uh, the wiring loom out which instead of popping all these off and breaking the ends like those I'm just taking the bolts out that way they stay on the brackets and I don't have to reattach them and uh, yeah that's where I'm at now uh, taking that all apart yeah so uh, I'll give you guys updates as I uh, make progress on it. There is a whole lot of wiring underneath that. And vacuum lines like no other. Jeez. Anyhow, we're getting her. Slowly but surely, we'll get her. Well, I'm down to uh, taking the cross pipe out and the catalytic converter. And I just wanted to tell you guys a little something about old exhaust clamps yeah you see how that's busted off oh yeah use the cheater pipe uh, sometimes it's just better to tight put it on tight instead of trying to loosen it and uh, just snap the exhaust uh, clamps because 90% of the time you know vehicle this old well I guarantee you this vehicle's never been torn apart before and uh, yeah, you ain't gonna be able to save them. Besides that, freaking, yeah, it's only like three bucks for a new clamp. Yeah, uh, it just saved you a headache if you just put it on tighten, over tighten it, snap the ends, and you're done with it. Versus trying to fight them. Uh, now I'm gonna drop the Y pipe. Uh, I got the shifter out transfer case shifter and uh, yeah I kind of start towards the back and work my way up to the front and then I come back do the cross member and whatnot and drop it like that yeah anyway that's just how I do it a lot of people do it differently uh, yeah see this transmission they never took this off because it was just an old junk truck. Actually, this came out of a truck, a 94 Dodge, that hit a concrete truck. A loaded concrete truck, he hit it head on. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> guess what? It put both trucks out of commission, and it totaled the uh, old Dodge, but the uh, concrete truck put a new front clip and bumper on it, and it was good to go. Oh, hell yeah. Anyways, yeah, we're just slowly knocking away at it. I'm about to shut that heater off because I'm starting to sweat my nuts off here. Oh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, for when we start the project on the white truck, yeah, I, thanks a lot, guys, about telling me about this uh, roll a brake line. Oh, hell yeah. Anyhow, yeah, let's get jamming and we're going. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah, up here at the chop shop. Oh, yeah, what's the progress? Well, freaking, yeah. Some of them bolts were a pain, but nothing's worse than that gosh darn wiring harness that goes over the top of the transmission. Uh, there's a cross member. Uh, it looks fairly simple to take out. <laughs> but that was hard to get out. I had to beat that thing. And uh, right now, just on mute. Just don't want to break no YouTube law. Yeah. Anyway, right now, all I got to do is take the bolts off to the bell housing. And uh, yeah, hopefully, I got it centered on my training jack and slide her out. I'll show you all down here. Because uh, I am pulling this in one unit. 
Uh, yeah, there's a transfer case, train jack, yeah, that's the one on the motor, uh, yeah, and the exhaust system freaking fought me the whole dang way, so, yeah, it's still in there, but it's unhooked from the motor, so, uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes, and the vacuum lines, yeah, there's vacuum lines that go across the cross member that goes to that uh, oh, air actuator up to the front of the truck. And I could have just took them off and left them in there and bent them straight or something. But, yeah, there's very little rust underneath there. So everything was fairly easy to get out except for the exhaust. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so I just took the whole lines out and then I'll just put them back in. Uh, I'd rather take them out than have to splice them, and yeah, I hate people rig stuff up and splicing stuff and whatnot. Anyhow, uh, yeah, get that bell housing done and get this thing jammed out of here, and then throw that new one, well, not new, new used one, up on the transmission jack and slide her in there and see what we can get done. Well, tubers, there you go. One bad transmission out of a Dodge. This truck has, uh, it's a 94 and it has 210,000 miles on it. And this is a factory training. Still, uh, yeah. And it was an Arizona truck originally. That's why there's no typical rust on it. Uh, front seals definitely was bad uh, when I dropped it. You can see the fluid that poured out of there because it was just sitting in the bottom of that thing. Yeah. Pump is shot. Yep. It's a junker. Um, will I rebuild this one? No. This one's had brake fluid and ran through it and I ain't going to piss with it. I was talking to a guy on one of my other videos about how I had one that I did rebuild. And the accumulator piston kept breaking on it. And the reason is because brake fluid generates heat in the transmission. It actually turns the training because the training's aluminum inside. And it will turn it like a dark color. You could tell it's burnt. And it kind of, um, yeah, I swear it, it, it egg shapes stuff in there because of the heat and whatnot. Uh, yeah far as I'm concerned the train is junk I wouldn't rebuild it uh, I'm sure there's people out there that would uh, but what kind of uh, warranty will they give you with it yeah anyhow yeah, she wasn't too awful bad the bolts was very stubborn to get out because yeah like I said the trainee's never been out before and them things were in there oh yeah but, uh, yeah. So, uh, now I got this one here to plop down into that one. And see, looking at this one, I don't think this one's a factory original because it has that number right there. Usually junkyards mark them with numbers like that. Uh, yeah. I don't know. We'll see. All I'm doing is putting swapping trainings and that's it. Yep. 